Yo, what's up, you mama Luke bastards? Well, I didn't want to show this right away. Because I've had so many friggin' holsters come here. I can't count and keep track of what's what. And they're all pretty nice. Um, I am not a big fan of hybrid holsters. So when I seen this holster company for the first time, uh, when they contacted me, I was a little skeptical and wasn't too, uh, you know, too excited about it. I was like, okay, another, here we go again, another hybrid holster. It's going to feel like the rest of the hybrid holsters, pretty much a big giant hip pad in your pants. And I just don't like hybrid holsters. So, <clears throat> I've seen a couple videos on it. And I'm seeing almost every video a positive reaction. And I'm like, how, how can this be any different than any other hybrid holster? So I said, you know what, I'm going to contact Steven at uh, Aegis Armory. And uh, I'm going to ask him if I can, you know, try out one of his holsters. Uh, Steven's a real good guy. The customer sh service is excellent. Uh, as in most products I sh I. Sh I show my videos uh, I'll tell you guys I, I know you probably most of you guys probably won't believe this but I don't, I don't show stuff in my videos unless I think it's decent I'm not going to put my channel in jeopardy and I am not going to you know jeopardize my reputation by showing shit because I won't and I've had had holsters come here that were really cheesy and cheap and I just sent them back I said thanks anyway no thank you I don't think my subscribers would spend money on this and be satisfied no hard feelings and that's kinda of awkward when you gotta send somebody a note in a package like that but um I said I gotta try one of these and uh, I said I'm gonna wear it for a while I'm not just gonna show it take it out of the package and I've been wearing it for a week and I gotta tell you I know it looks like a hybrid holster. It looks like all the other hybrid holsters. It looks like a crossbreed. It looks like all the other ones you've seen. And, uh, but it's not. The reason why it's not is the leather is very, very soft right away. So you don't have to wait for a break-in period. You don't have to go through that stiff period where the, where the edges of the leather is digging into your skin. Especially if you're an overweight guy like myself because I'm, you know, I'm, built, I'm built like a... Um, a jelly donut. I look like a jelly donut that was rolled in hair. And uh, so when I wear a holster, it's, it's very uncomfortable when you're overweight because your skin hangs over and it leans on this part. And uh, the first day I put it on, uh, it felt like the crossbreed after after I after three weeks of reading of, of uh, wearing a crossbreed. This felt that way right away. Um, this is my Glock 19. It holds it very, very well. Now you'll notice when you get these holsters, the retention is not going to be real tight, but it will. Now remember, this is only uh, a week old. Um, so I'm going to wear it again today. I'm going to work today. Because um, you could still wear it in the waistband at work. We have to expose our firearms. So what I could do is tuck my tuck my shirt in, and it'll, it'll still be exposed when you tuck your shirt in. Anyway, or what I could do is, you know what I could do? I'm going to try the outside of the waistband system, which is what these two slots are. Remember, with any holster, you need a good belt when you're wearing outside the waistband. Uh, I just wanted to show you, this is my Glock 19. Um, I've been wearing it one week. When I first got it, I could slide the, the gun in and take it out with, with, without any retention now it's already starting to lock in and now it's holding it up and it's I only had it in there a week when I first got it I could hold it upside down the gun would fall right out but I was told after you wear it for a while it will retain the firearm securely but in the beginning there's not a lot of retention but it doesn't matter because when you put it on and pull your belt tight where you want it the gun is automatically has re plenty of retention on it you can do cartwheels and the, the gun's not going to fall out 
He asked me what colors I like. I said, my favorite colors are OD green and black together. For some reason, it makes me want to dance naked in the woods. So there it is. OD green with a, on top of the black leather. It looks friggin' awesome because I might wear this outside a waistband and if I'm showing the holster off, I want it to look cool. So I have an awesome pair of cami pants that I wear for work and I can wear this outside the waist with the OD green and the black's gonna look cool, you know? That's why. It has real strong steel clips on there. This is another mistake a lot of other companies make when they make these. They use the plastic clips that are shaped like an S. They're horrible. They just don't work. These are very secure. They move, they only move this way and, and they're tense too. Like they don't move loose, you gotta move them. But if you're sitting down and the, the holster has to give and they have to move when you're in a car, it'll, it'll move with your body. Listen, I'm not bullshitting you. This holster is very, very comfortable. Okay, you can see how nice and soft the leather is, and it's very strong. It's a high quality leather, you can tell just by looking at it. And they got a really cool logo. I like that. It's like a shield logo, it's very cool looking. Um, I don't know what else I could say about it. I'm very happy with it. I'm gonna. I'd like to get another one um, for my other uh, firearms that I wear outside the waist. I don't know which one yet. I have to see what I have. Heard some comments about the four rivets. Um, not maybe not being enough. Uh, I uh, I don't think so. It's very very strong. It feels very secure. The the rivets are in there and crushed. Very tight and if they're high quality rivets, I think they're gonna be okay. I don't think there's an issue there at all. So don't, you know, if, you, if you're gonna start leaving comments about that, everyone's already heard you, just just, just let it go. Because it's, it's not an issue, it really isn't. Remember guys, we're not in, in extreme training where we're running at full speed, crawling under barbed wire, hopping over brick walls, you know, jumping over logs, and crawling through the swamp where everyday carry guys and this is more than enough quality to handle what we need to do what the best thing about this is the problem is with carrying a gun is every time you carry a gun if that holster is not comfortable you are not going to carry your gun the bottom line is you should carry your gun every day if you have your permit to do you had your concealed license to do it you should use that right every day and if you don't have the right holster you're just not going to do it this holster will make you carry your gun every day uh, I'm not a fan of in the waistband it's a big pain in the ass this holster is very easy to get on and it's extremely easy to get off it's effortless when I take it off I just put my finger under it lift put my finger on this side under it and lift and then I grab this and it pulls right out like a tissue out of a tissue box. That's how easy this comes out. Uh, another thing I liked about it, if you look all around the edges, they're slightly flared out for reholstering. So it's very easy to get, to get the gun in when you're reholstering. Uh, fantastic. Uh, thank you, Aegis Armory, for sending me this. I'm so glad I, I like it. I finally got an inside the waistband holster that's extremely comfortable and I don't mind wearing so I'll be carrying more often now because of this holster alright guys got my Glock 19 I'll be wearing this at work today and I am going to rig this up for outside the waistband when I'm done I will show you I'm set up for outside the waistband what's great about that is and you got to remember this this holster is primarily meant for inside the waistband but you can wear it outside it feels great I, don't, I, I can move around it doesn't feel like it's, it's not pulling my pants down that does it's very the best feeling in the world is when you're carrying a gun is when it feels secure and it ain't going anywhere it definitely gives you that feeling and I have this nice leather shield that goes all the way around and I won't get any shirt in my holster the problem with my other holster is that safari land even though how beautiful that holster works is sometimes during the day while I'm working my shirt comes over this and gets in the way of the holster and if I had to draw uh, the gun uh, it gets caught in there with the gun 
but this is no problem if I have to draw my holster from my holster and then I can reholster with no problem. And I, I, you know, I never practiced drawing from the holster and you see how, you see how easy that was. Very secure, it's not going anywhere. I mean, as we speak, I'm, uh, I'm going to work right now, just like this, uh, for the whole day. And I'm confident that this ain't going nowhere. It feels wonderful. So uh, that's it. I want to thank Aegis Armory for sending me this holster. Here's their information. If you guys want to get yourself a holster. For what they are, they're extremely affordable. I'll also, of course, put the link under the video. This is in case you get real lazy or this is in case you can't find the link because some people don't know YouTube they don't know where to go find the link I'll say under the video and they still won't know where to go <laughs> so there it is there's no excuse Steve thanks for uh, sending me this holster you have an excellent product